Hi there, Lindsay here, and I have been meaning to film this video for the past three or four weeks. <laughs> I have, um, I, I've wanted to show y'all how I go through and do my weekly plan based off of my yearly plan that I showed y'all, gosh, before we actually started schooling, so back in the beginning of August, I suppose. Um, I... It is currently our seventh week of schooling, and I have not <laughs> gone through and actually updated my weekly lesson plans. And the reason why I have a yearly calendar plan and a, um, and a weekly plan is my yearly calendar or my yearly plan goes through and just kind of gives me a rough skeleton of here's the pages I want to get through. Here are the lessons I want to get through so that way I can equally divide the work up amongst our 36 week year. And whenever I go in and I do a weekly lesson plan, I'm just really trying to get my brain focused on the types of things that I'm going to be teaching Caitlin and the kinds of things that I want her to learn. And it also gives me the opportunity to get any materials together and prep. But it is Monday morning and of week seven, and I'm gonna show you how I work through my plans for week seven. <laughs> so clearly I've dropped the ball just a little bit this week. And um, that's okay, there's grace. There's grace in this situation and we'll be okay. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you my process. I'll probably speed this up so it's not as uh, monotonous. I'll show you how I go through and do the first few lessons just by, you know, talking you through them. And then I'm going to speed the rest of this up. So let's turn you around. So here I've got my Erin Condren teacher planner, and this is from the 2016-27 release. And I got this at the end of this uh, past, I guess, May-ish for whatever they were having their 30% off of all teaching material sale. So maybe it was June. I can't quite remember. But I've got this for my weekly plans and I've already gone through weeks one through six. And now we're on seven. And I also went through and I divided up each six week section with a little bit of washi tape on the edges. So that way I could have sort of a clear delineation of which weeks were where. And up to here, that's 36 weeks worth of weekly pages there so that I can just kind of quickly see which six week session we're in. And I have also kind of preemptively gone through and written in our morning basket type of things. So our Bible and calendar and memory work. We do that every single day. I'm gonna go through here and pull out, I always start with math. And here on my weekly or my yearly sort of outline, um, I've gone through and I've already got all of our memory work here taken care of. But so we are doing Saxon math two and we are on week seven. So we're gonna get through lessons 25 through 28, which means one lesson four days a week. And then I'll just kind of like go down the line in order and kind of look at some things here. Now with my Saxon math, I could go through each individual lesson, but I think today what I'm going to choose to do is go up to the table of contents. I'm gonna go through here and just these four lessons, I'm just gonna sort of give myself a quick descriptor of what the lesson actually is. And then I'm gonna flip over to my materials page and see what all I need. Okay, so I'm gonna also flip over here to my list of materials and I'm on lesson 25, so I'm just gonna start thinking through some of these things that we actually will need to follow through on these plans. So, 25, I definitely have 
will have a written assignment. Assessment. Number four. Um, So I've kind of got a better idea of what I'm doing with my math for this week. So I'm going to take my math teacher's book out of the way. And now I'm going to pull out my first language lessons. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here. And generally speaking, this takes me about 15 to 20 minutes whenever I'm not talking myself through it or getting distracted by the girls. And I'm just gonna go through here, and since we have grammar and spelling about halfway through, I will go through and, so I'll have first language lessons here, and then I will have spelling workout B here. And same thing for writing, I do writing with ease, and then halfway down I do our handwriting book. I'm gonna speed this up, and then I'll come back at you at the end. Okay, so this past several weeks, we have managed to get off of my main skeleton chart here. With our history, we got super far ahead. And with science, we sort of fell behind by about, I don't know, one lesson or so. And so what I'm going to do is last week, we did not get to lesson number 18 in our God's design for our weather and water. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these around a little bit to where I'm doing 18 here. And I'm just gonna only do three lessons for this week. I'm not gonna try to make it all the way to lesson 21, just because that will get to be a lot for our Friday lessons. And I kind of like to take Fridays a little bit lighter and make them more about core work and less about um, the other stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of modify here. And I also will wind up modifying on history because we got so far ahead. Last week, we just went through and we literally reviewed all of our history memory work sentences, and we did not read any further in the um, story of the world. And the week before that, on week five, we made it all the way to the C section on chapter seven, the city of Baghdad. And so I'm going to go through here and just pick up from that point instead of trying, and I already kind of like chicken scratched it on here, how I'm gonna do 7D through 8B. So that's only three days worth of lessons. I just really kind of got off thinking four lessons through whenever we weren't having our enrichment days. And it was Monday through Thursday, Monday through Thursday, or th Tuesday through Friday. So I got, I got myself a little bit ahead of myself and behind myself all at the same time, so. I'm going to make those few modifications as I'm going through this plan.
I tend to be a little more detailed with math and with science just because those are two subjects where I don't want to be ill prepared. Um, for her uh, handwriting for this particular week, I know we did not finish all the way through page 71 last week, so I need to go get her workbook and sort of just fill in. I like her to do a two page spread on her workbook every day just to kind of practice. And she's doing cursive right now, so we're on basic strokes, which is a little more um, time consuming for her because it's a brand new skill set that she's developing. So um, I understand that it's taking a little bit longer than what I had originally planned for. And excuse the stuffy nose. <laughs> and um, also I kind of, I just write myself little notes like narrate, map work, narrate, narrate, narrate on all the times that she needs to narrate. That way I know that we've actually accomplished it and whenever we go in for our nine week, sort of our first quarter check, I can show our curriculum, or not curriculum, but our uh, advisor what all we have accomplished without actually bringing in every last piece of paper that Caitlin has written on for the past however many weeks. So. And this is just kind of an overview of how we had gone through the first few weeks. And it's practically the exact same <laughs> as what I've been doing. Um, I was a little more detailed in here, I think. But for the most part, we kind of, uh, we just, it's basically the same each week. I just like to have an idea of what we are actually going to be talking about in that lesson to prepare my own self. And along with needing those materials and whatnot. That is how I use my weekly spread to um, to sort of plan out my whole week. And then also I wanted to show y'all back here in the checklist, I've gone through and I, I debated on how to best use these pages because we are not a class. We are a, uh, you know, I'm only schooling one kid and I wanted to go through and just kind of have, I just, I like checks. <laughs> so I sort of divvied out our weeks and use this for our date. And over here, I've just got what all we need to accomplish within the day or what I want to keep track of. Like for her fact sheets, I'd like to keep track of how many she got correct out of how many possible answers there were. I like to keep track of how she does on her spelling assessment, on her math oral and her uh, written assessment. And I just like to sort of see like how did our day go and also up here I use the little symbols zero for, or, you know, a zero with an X through it to show that we did not do lessons that day. The C stands for curriculum day. And then over here, the letter E stands for an enrichment day. And we go through and we use Google, the Google Drive with our charter to sort of keep track of all of our attendance and keep track of um, just various things. And so I don't check it every day which um, that would just be a lot for me right now. So I just like to have a written place that's all together along with my lesson plans to just kind of have a spot where I go in and say, okay, this is what we did that day. Instead of trying to remember or trying to look back at calendars and uh, I've already kind of gone through and given us like some break time for whenever baby arrives. Um, if baby arrives, whenever we think baby is coming and uh you know, I've kind of pre gone in and just sort of done our enrichment days. So there we go. So there you have it. That is how I go about planning out our weekly lessons and uh, just preparing myself so that I know what to expect for the week and what I need to gather together before the week uh, begins so that we, we can be prepared for our lessons. I am now completely stuffed up and I sound really ill, even though it's just pregnancy related congestion. So I do apologize for that and beg your forgiveness. It will hopefully be gone soon. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.